Hi guys, um, welcome to Ant's Math Club. My name is Mwalimu Ann and today we'll be going through a new topic called vectors. As you can see here on the board, I've just um, written, you know, small recap on the topic vectors so as to remind you, you know, basically on the things you should, you know, watch out and know. So like we know a quantity which has both magnitude and direction is called a vector. And as you can see from this figure, we know that A is the initial point and b is the terminal point and as you can see um the direction of a vector is shown by an arrow from this we can see um the arrow tends to go towards b and its magnitude is represented by the length from a to b so we know that a b is a and b a since we are coming from b to a the sign will change the direction is changing so automatically we introduce a negative sign and it becomes negative a um so we know it becomes a negative square scalar <laughs> so um a quantity which has magnitude only is called a scalar so um basically what i'd like you to note is when the direction changes um the sign will also change so like we've done here when we're coming from b to a it automatically becomes negative a so with this guys um Let's go through um, KCSE um, question, paper 1, section B, 110 marks. So I'll go through it and actually show you how to calculate it, the tricks and hacks that you need to know. So join me as we calculate it. So here is the first um, question. And it says, in the figure below, um, AB is P, AB is P, AD is Q, then we have DE which is a half of AB, and BC is two thirds of BD. So you've been asked to find in terms of P and Q, the vectors BD. So we go to, you can hear your solution. So BD will be from B to D. So basically you can choose to move from BA then you move from A, D. So that's um, B, A plus A, D. And we see from B, A, from B, A, we know that A, B is P. So since we are coming um, on the opposite side, the sign will definitely change. So it becomes negative P. Plus A, D, A, D is, we've been given A, D is Q. Plus Q. So your answer for BD becomes P, negative P, plus Q. So this was the first segment, and this is how you do. So for BD, is BA plus AD, and this is how you calculate it. Let's now go to the... You can come here and write your answer. Now we know BD is equals to negative P plus Q. Let's look for the second arm. So for part two of section A, we've been asked to find BC. And as you can see in our question, we were given BC is equals to two thirds of BD. So solution, we have BD. We found BD in our first um, question and BD was negative P plus Q. So this becomes two thirds of negative plus Q. And this becomes, you open the bracket, negative two over three P because of the negative sign plus two over three Q. So your answer automatically becomes negative two thirds of P plus two thirds of Q. So this is how you're supposed to find BC. So now let's go to the that part which we've been asked to find CD. So for CD, um, So you've been asked to find CD. And remember, um, you were told um, BC is equals to two thirds of B 
D from B to B. BC is two thirds, so here it's two thirds. So we need to find X. So in order to find um, CD, we know it's going to be um, one minus two thirds. This becomes a third. So CD automatically becomes a third of BD. So here it becomes you know, a third. So um, so we have BD again. It's going to be a third of P negative P plus you know Q. And this becomes because of the negative sign negative a third P plus a third Q. And therefore your answer becomes um, your answer will now become negative a third p plus a third q so this is how we were supposed to find um, c d basically because we were told b c from b to c is two thirds of d d so we need to find c d and c d because the whole line is of one minus two thirds is a third so it becomes a third of b d so you just equate a third you multiply by BD and then you open the brackets and this is your answer so next we've been asked to find AC So for AC under the solution, so next we've been asked to find AC. So what you need to know, AC you move from, you can choose to move from AB, then BC. So AC you can move from AB, then BC. And this for AB is P positive plus BC was two thirds, BC was two thirds of BD. And we found it to be two thirds of negative p plus q becomes p plus negative two thirds of p plus two thirds of q. So automatically here positive and negative becomes a negative sign. So p minus two thirds becomes uh, p becomes. Remember to include those. In your science so this becomes p minus two thirds becomes a third p plus two thirds q so those were four marks so we've seen how to find them and it's actually quite easy so now let's go to section b of the question this was part a basically just finding you know from movement ac and such so this was your answer for a c so now guys let's go to part b of the question so basically guys um in part b of this question we've been told that given ac is equals to kce where k is a scalar find the value of k so you come and say a solution you've been told that ac is equals to k of c e you've been told ac is equals to k c e we know that ac can be a B plus B C. So that is A B plus B C is to K and C E, the line C E will be C D plus D E. So C D plus D E. So we know A B, our A B is P plus our B C was two thirds of B D. And that was two thirds of B D. And line B D is B A plus A D. That's when you come back, that's negative P plus Q is equals to K C D plus D E. So basically this becomes um P plus we open the brackets. Sorry, but to include those becomes negative two over three P plus 2 over 3 q this becomes 1 minus 2 thirds a third of p plus 2 thirds of q 
So while finding CD, you can just come here and find CD. So we know um, CD, we've been given. So we've been given that from BD, we know that line BC is two thirds of BD. So CD will be um, will be one minus two thirds of line BD. This becomes a third of line BD. And we know we know that line BD is um, BD is negative negative P plus Q. So this becomes negative a third plus a third Q. So you can come in right K into CD is negative a third plus a third Q. Plus we find DE. So you can just come in. Let's find DE. We know um, DE we've been given is a half of AB. A half of AB. And we know our AB is P. So a half of P. Keep forgetting to include the signs. So it becomes a half of P. A half of P. So what you do next, um, and this was a third P. So now once you have that, um, you can now uh, work it out. Negative a third plus a half, because they both have P. That's positive 1 over 6 P plus a third Q. So when you open the bracket, it becomes 1 over 6 K P plus 1 over 3 K Q. So once now we've figured out the both sides, what you do next, um, you can just come and choose. Let's choose to work with the side P. So you can equate a third P is equals to 1 over 6 K P. P goes with P, then you're left with a third is equals to 1 over 6 K. In order to find K, you multiply by 6 both sides. So your K becomes by 3, 1, by 3, 2, 2. So your answer is 2. So basically that is how you are supposed to find um, the K. So guys, um, this was a question on vectors. From next week, we are going to look into calculating um, questions of vectors under, you know, paper 2 mathematics. So I hope you've understood. Yeah, so guys, um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Yeah, and maybe remember to show your fellow high schoolers maybe who are in school if you have students who are in high school you can also share with them this information so thank you bye bye